give it to me. Okay, cool. Okay, so the idea is, yeah. So the answer is that. Consider only the squares where the empty Is it zero? Wait, is it zero one two or what one two? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, uh, can you do enjoy? Yeah. So the thing about yeah, you two, I thought it was going to require increasing, and then I saw a bunch of solutions that never used that, and I was like, oh, never mind. Because I was like, oh, nice, there's a functional equation for once for which you can't just like plug in a ton of things and have it work. Because I didn't see the solution where you just plug in a bunch of things and it works. Because <laughs> I was just like, well, it's increasing. And then uh, once it's increasing, you also know it's approximately linear. And so, OK, there's like a nice conceptual solution. And I was like, oh, no, you can also just plug shit in. Uh, set up. We say this a square is special. So if it is empty or it has the same parity in both coordinates as the empty square. We now proceed in two cases. Uh, the special square has both odd coordinates, i.e. the so index the squares by coordinates x, y, where Claim um, the graph is a when undirected, the graph becomes a tree. So prove it would suffice to prove Okay, so um, now notice that all the arrows along the tree point towards the empty cell. And moving a domino corresponds to flipping one arrow. So we get a natural bijection. There's nothing, so the odd case is actually just this, right? So, um, I did U2, yeah, yeah, yeah. U5, U6 are the ones that I haven't cleaned done. I mean, you should do Russia 1998. Oh, <laughs> what is it?
and moving a corresponding So there are exactly um, m plus one squared graphs that could directed graphs that we can achieve, namely. Uh, the Domino is 1997. Um, yeah. Apparently, for some reason, in my database, it was 1998, and I don't know why. I think the source I got it from had the wrong year. It was... I forget exactly where I saw that problem. So, we construct the analogous graph. You know... I feel like I want to add in, like, domino borders on here. We're gonna add in some domino borders. Because uh, otherwise it's kind of hard to see. Especially, also, if you're colorblind, you're just screwed. Um, border. And we'll say 10 border equals gray. And we'll do... Okay, actually, so this, the light gray thing didn't matter. Eh, okay, it was fine. We'll just do it this way. special squares. So in the, this is the case that haven't fully worked out yet, but I think I know what's going to happen, which is that, um, basically the, the thing that changes in this case is that the, um, the, the arrow, like there can be some vertices with, that go outwards, meaning they don't, um, I should just draw it. Yeah, my J4 has like a ton of casework as well. What? Um, Okay, what is the easiest way to do this? I think what I want to do is I want to put a bunch of dominoes um, I have to think this through uh, We're going to put a bunch of dominoes around the exterior. So zero, zero, I'm going to shift this down by one, I think. And then two, three, 
No, this is two. No, yeah, two, three, four, five. Five, negative one, six, one. Yeah, this is the n plus one. Uh, so the one that's on the screen right now is the n plus one squared all over four case. Fuck, I'm really bad at drawing dominoes. <laughs> uh, two, these would be two, four, six. Let's try that again. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, six, zero, and then I want like five, zero to six, two, I think, and then Five, six, five, comma, six, three, comma, four. Okay. And then we're going to do minus one. Co oh, shit. Ah! Uh, nope, no, no, nope. Coordinates are too hard, man. Uh, minus one, comma, minus one, up to zero, comma, one. Okay, and then as example, I want to like disconnect some parts of this graph. Uh, so, okay, this, the coordinate here is 0, 1, 2, 3, this is 3, comma 5, right? Or sorry, 3, comma 4, yeah, this one. So we're going to take this one and the one that's right above it, which is yellow. Three comma five, and then I'm going to twist it. So <sighs> shit. Purple, magenta, why not? Shit, I fucked up. Oh, God. Why are coordinates so hard? One day I want to just be able to get these coordinates right. And then... Okay, and then here, this is three comma two, right? So three comma two. Three comma three. And the yellow one at 
five comma two. And I wanna, so we're gonna shift this one. Two spells, right, and then six. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, so this will disconnect some arrows. It will disconnect the CB arrow, and then it will disconnect the um, FZ arrow, right? Yeah, so the idea is like in the in the other case, they can quote unquote point out of, of the grid equivalent. Shit, I pressed the wrong arrow. Uh, FZ, really? Wait, Z. F. Shit, or I just connected the wrong one. Um, Same proof. So, okay, so the same proof shows that the graph is still a cyclic, and the connected component containing the empty square becomes the only. Why are there so many colors? Why not? <laughs> are colors bad? Becomes the only part that can be operated on. So therefore, by mimicking the by copying the proof in the previous part, we find that um, the number of achievable um, configurations is exactly equal to uh, wait. Hang on. Okay, wait, like, it doesn't include zero, right? Because the initial configuration is achievable, by definition. So, <laughs> zero is not a valid answer <laughs> to the number of vertices in the connected component containing the empty cell. What do you mean? How can zero work? Like, it asks for the number of configurations you can reach. If you do nothing, you are somewhere. So, like, zero doesn't work, right? Yeah, but you, you have a starting... Con like, you can do no moves, and that is still a valid sequence of moves. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Um... Okay, so what I need to do is I need to construct uh Oh god, this is actually kind of annoying. Um So okay, so this is the part of the problem I haven't done, which is I need to show how to construct uh a situation where So the components always terminate like at the edge of a board, right? Like only the outermost ring of points, I can leave the board. Uh... Right? Except the empty, well, the empty still can be anywhere actually. Um... But I need to make sure that, oh, okay. I need the, there can't be anything pointing towards the empty cell. Have you seen, I have not seen n factorial plus one equals n plus one to the k. Uh, that's, okay, so 
So thus to finish the problem, we need to give for each k in 1, 2, n minus 1 over 2 squared. An example of has exactly k vertices. This just seems really annoying. <laughs> um, oh, wait, actually, no, it's not. You can. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, Okay, I see. I think I see how to do this. Um, all right, this is going to require more illustrations. Okay, so I'm going to need to redo all of these because um, this won't work quite as written. Um, we're going to start with basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a snake. All right. Um, so. Okay, so the top, I'm going to start the snake, um, like, it's going to be an S-shape, and I'm going to start, um, here, which is 3, 4. Right, yeah, 3, 4. F to 4, 5. And we're going to, we're going to hide all this for now. And let me... Let me redo the... What the heck? Uh, am I just bad? I'm bad. 3, 5, 1, 3. Um, hell cyan. Okay, and then... We're going to do 1 at 0, 3. 1, 5. And then so we're gonna make a snake out of the out of this um so, ah, God drawing coordinates is so hard zero comma three zero comma two. to 2 comma 3 and then 5 comma 3 3 comma 1 Okay, and then the, the arrows need to change completely. Um, draw, so C, B, and arrow, B, A, A, D, D, E, E, F, F, X, F, Z, Z, Y. So, so here's the thing that Oh, actually, okay, I see why this makes the JMO problem a tiny bit easier, which is that you don't have to do this construction because you'll have a bound that it's at most the number of special squares. I don't think that makes the problem very different. I feel like they should have just asked the full problem if they're going to ask the problem at all. Because, like, you know, J1 and J2 are both quick, right, if you know what you're doing. Well, J1, J1, you can, like, get lost in algebra, but I don't think you should get lost in algebra for a long time. Uh, J2 is really fast, so I don't know. Like... If if I feel like if someone sweeps the, the JMO, they have time left over. So you might as well have asked like the full version of the problem. 
Oh, so I fucked up one of the dominoes. Uh, <laughs> uh, two, two. Okay, this is the two, two, two. Yeah, this should be four, one. Wait, how do you add margin? I there's sh this command should add some margins to the arrows, right? Maybe. Oh, um, did it just not add very big margins? Is that the issue? Do I need to do that? Okay, that, those margins are too big. Um, okay, that, that was the issue? Okay. I feel like all of these need margin 3-3 three, three or something-ish. Because otherwise it's a little too hard to see. Do this construction. Start with the snake picture shown below. Okay, and so now I need to add like, oh shit, that's that's too dark, uh, medium gray. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we're gonna. This is eight dominoes, right? How did I only get seven when I copied? Oh, I just didn't copy the last one. Oh, that's fine. I think it's these. And then three, three, one, one, uh, four, four, two, two. We're going to color these in a slightly different color so they're more visible. And then I need the outer ring again. So whatever the outer ring was before. You know, I feel like I don't like the colors I picked here. <laughs> Should, are, are there like better colors I can use that are like not yellow and brown? So it's like I can lock, um, twist, 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 um, honestly, I sh mm -hmm. is it easier if I do a spiral than compared to an S? Will that make my life easier? 
I think that makes it easier, because when you do the twisting, it's a little more, um... Yeah, I think, sorry, spiral is actually easier. Uh, start with this. So we're going to use a spiral picture. Ha ha ha, change of plan. Um... Uh, okay, so after this, instead of 0315, um, one three zero one, and then shift these over. And we're gonna hide these for a moment. I'm also gonna hide this for a moment. So we're gonna start with a spiral picture. Um, cool. And then um, four zero five one. Or five two, and then okay, and then. Two 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 four three zero one two one three and then Zero Okay, let's let's hope I got that right. Fuck. Okay, um this needs to be one solo. C B B A A D D X X Y Y Z Z F F E Wait, actually, oh, this isn't better because it's oh fuck. You have to, this twist is, the twist here is actually, I thought it would, oh. Mm. Oh, this construction is so annoying. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. God damn. Never mind. This is not as clean as I thought it was. Oh, uh, do I revert? I think I revert. <sighs> Alright, never mind. We're going back to the freaking. Um... I'm going to go back to the snake. Uh, the spiral is not actually better. I, I was mistaken.
Uh. So I. Uh, this this requires like many diagrams. Um. This is gonna yeah. This is gonna require several diagrams to do correctly. Um. Uh. Because what I want to say is, like, you, you can imagine taking this brown tile up here in the northeast and then sliding, transposing it. Um, like, you can... I can... You can basically cut this at any point by... By, um... You can you can cut any of the horizontal arrows by transposing like one of the outer dominoes enough times, um, and you can cut any of the vertical arrows by either by pushing it all the way and then like cutting it. Oh, this is really hard to describe. Uh, Yeah, I'm just gonna have to write something. We can cut any of the... This achieves k equals n. We can cut any of the horizontal arrows by taking... Uh, Oh, actually, wait, this is a little complicated. Um, hang on. Uh, this is blocked. Oh, freaking. Like I wanna if I wanna it show all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight edges. So if I wanna cut all of them, I actually have to draw eight different things. That's gonna be really annoying. Um A pictures for n equals three. The generalization to forward. I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and like do this eight times. Um. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna translate this four six and the corresponding um four six four three. Okay, um, we're gonna, this is gonna be really annoying. Uh, uh, 
we're going to drop the Okay, so picture P1 equals rotate I can't believe I'm doing it this way. Um, let me verify this does what I wanted to. Okay, that's correct. Then picture two. So then we do it this, but I'm going to transpose that red, the one that moved even more. So this is the one that was at um, three comma four. So we're going to transpose it to more cells. And then this light, this pale cyan one uh, here goes one, three. And there's a brown one at one, three. And then we delete the BDA arrow. This is picture P2. This is gonna be a long procedure. <laughs> again. <laughs> Picture three. We're going to take this red and that blue and twist it. So that's the one at um, zero three. Zero three one five is going to become um, minus one four to one five. And the brown one that was at minus one, three. Um, becomes one, four. This is picture P3. I need to cut this arrow. Wait, am I? Okay, no, and then you push the yellow one in and then lock it and then. Do, do you, can I fit these like three in a row? Will that be too small? That's a little too small. We'll, we'll do it this way. All right, so P for P4, I'm moving this yellow at minus one, comma, one. We're, we're sliding that two over. And then in return, zero, two, and zero, one should move. So let's find zero, two. And zero, one. We're on a roll. Half done. Uh... Is 
This, this is the most annoying illustration series. Okay, fine. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna try to fit them through in a line. I think here I want to use unit size rather than size. So I think my thing is roughly. Um, if it's three across, this is twenty four. So unit size zero point six cm ish. Okay, that's good enough. Um, okay, so this yellow cell that we just moved is at 1-1. One, one. Maybe. Um, where'd it go? Oh, I'm looking in picture. So in picture 5, I should take the 1-1 one, one yellow cell and bump it to tiles over. And the ones that move in return are 2, 1, 2, 2. So if you always, yeah, I'm always um, using the southwest corner for reference so that I don't confuse the hell out of myself. Um, two, two, one, one. Okay, this is, hang on. Yeah, this is 2, 2. This is 1, comma, uh, 2, comma, 1, 2, comma, 1. Yeah, so 1, 3. And then for this picture, I'm going to twist the dominoes at three comma one and four comma one. Okay, so three comma one is this yellow one here that I just moved. It's going to go to five comma two, and four comma one is going to go to three comma two. And we cut this arrow. You know, I almost don't think I need... If I'm going to fit them in a 3x3 grid, I can take this picture and squeeze it in the... Um... Here. I'm gonna do this. Da. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, I meant not n equals 3. This is n equals 7. Uh, 
All right, almost done. So we're gonna cut the, we're gonna twist the zero three and, or sorry, three zero and three one. So three zero, um, Actually, no, I think it's, it's more consistent if we, um, move the dark red one, right? Yeah, I, I shouldn't twist. I should just move the dark red one. So the dark red is at, uh, 5 comma 0. So we're going to move this to 4 or 5. And then at 3, 0 and 3, 1, those will sh bump over 1. And then we do this again. So, um, okay, I screwed up. Uh, okay, so this is four comma O in picture seven. Uh, Should be at three comma oh and four comma two. And we're gonna bump it another two over. Zero comma one comma zero one comma one. Yeah, up here it's fine. All right, we did it. Uh, wow, that was annoying. Um, all right. Shoe twist and then twist to shoe twist. Okay, yeah, so this th this should work fine just for all in. Um. I don't know what harness to put this at. I feel like it takes a while because like this construction actually ended up being like quite long. Um I don't know, what hardness do I put this at? What if what did our people saying on here? Blah, 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 blah. People are talking about random junk, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, blah, yeah, 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 yeah. This is gonna be dead, cool, cool, cool. What is all this, what? Okay, never mind. Um, 
What? What are all these? Wait, why is the? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't know what hardness to put this at. Um, I want to put... I want to put 35 for now and maybe bump it up later. I thought 35 might be a little low. I'm not sure. Uh... Okay, let's see if this picture compiles on AOPS. I feel like they were... Uh <laughs> How am I supposed to debug that? Okay, uh, somehow it compiled. <laughs> okay, we good. So that's probably all for today then. Uh, thanks everyone for coming out. Hope that was amusing, uh, maybe. I don't know, man. Yeah, okay. So I think I'll I need to write up USMO five and USMO six and then I can have a complete solution write up set. Um Yeah. I'll do that at some point. All right, see y'all.